you know, everybody thinks you've got to have a ton of money to go into the note business. And, and guys, I can, I can tell you that anything you can do with a house, you can also do with a note. So I can earn fee income from wholesaling notes. So I can get a note under contract for one price, and I can uh, sell the contract on buying that note to, just to Kim, maybe, and I can make a fee from wholesaling the note. So I can make fee income. I'll show you three or four uh, uh, different case studies of how you can, you can make fee income by wholesaling a note. You know, so, Kim, you know how that works. You can get a property under contract. Um, at a lower price, flip the contract, assign the contract to somebody else at a little higher price, and make some money. And you don't have to have a whole lot of cash to do that. You don't have to have any cash if you don't, you know, if you've got the right person to buy. So, you know, that's that's another part of that. And we'll get a little deeper into that in just a second. Turnkey seller finance. I know you've got a lot of landlords in in the Kansas City area, and. You know, this is really a piece of the business that allows landlords to exit being a landlord by um, selling their their uh, houses, their 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 uh, rental houses, to an investor that really is looking for a good investment. So. What you would end up being if you sold your loaded house, the house that has a good long-term tenant in that property, to a person that wants to be a landlord, well, you know, the interesting thing about that is, Kim, and especially in a market like Kansas City, you've got, um, you've got um, uh, the cash comp price on a house, right? You know, what the, what the comps may say it's worth. So the comps may say a house is worth fifty, sixty thousand dollars, but the house will sell will rent for a thousand dollars. So what most folks don't realize is that when you've got a, a a loaded cash flow property with a tenant with a tenant in the property, you can sell the house based on with with a tenant already in there based on the income of the property. And so the house may be worth ninety or a hundred thousand dollars based on the income from the property. So we're going to go through turnkey seller financing, and then the uh, last one there is buying the seller financing. So, <laughs> so most, most, most folks that are out there either doing wholesaling or doing buy, fix, and sell, Kim, they're having to make a lot of offers in order to get one. So I've been, we've kind of made it a quest to go out at Note School and talk to a lot of these, you know, these, these folks that are doing, you know, maybe 15 or 20 houses a year, or they're doing 80 or 100 or two or 300 uh, either wholesale properties or buy, fix, and sell properties. And the challenge that they have is that you've got, they're all chasing the same property. So what we found and what statistics we found is that, You've got to make 20 offers in order to get one acceptance. So what that means, and because you're all offering the same thing, right? Well, the hundred thousand dollar house, you know, we're all trying to buy it for seventy, seventy five thousand dollars cash, right? And and so everybody's kind of chasing the same deal, and all their deals look alike. So by just simply adding, if you're making 20 offers or if you're working with 20, 20 properties in order to get one, that means you're succeeding 5% of the time and you're failing 95% of the time. So simply by asking or asking the owner, you know, what is your real challenge here? Now, look, Kim, if you're selling the property, I'll certainly make you a cash offer that I can close in two or three days or four or five or six or seven days. That's what the offer that everybody else has made. But I will also offer that seller terms. So look, I'll give you the seventy thousand dollars that Kim's, you know, that everybody else out there will give you. But I'm going to give you once. I'm going to give you a second offer on your property. You're asking a hundred. I'll give you a hundred. Let me pick the terms on this. Let me. Uh, why don't you seller finance the property for me? 
And I can tell you that, that most investors out there kind of get locked in their brain, right? And, and that, uh, and that, you know, everybody wants cash. Everybody's got a money problem. Well, not everybody has a money problem. Some people just simply have a real estate problem. So by simply offering a seller finance, a terms deal where they'll seller finance for you, I'll promise you we can double your results and maybe triple it without even, without spending another dollar on, on marketing. You know, people just don't realize, <clears throat> again, the power of, of offering or just throwing it out there. Most people feel like they have to do like everybody else. I've got to offer this a cash. I've got to do a cash offer and close quickly to get a deal. And we know that that's what the herd's doing. That's the, the herd. Everybody else is kind of going that way. But I can tell you that, that by learning how to make an offer using seller or buying with seller financing, having your seller seller or finance the property. Kim, it may need, it may be that they just have a house that, that, that they need to sell. Uh, because they can't, they don't want to manage the house. Doesn't mean they want all the cash, right? I mean, if they you sell a hundred and fifty thousand dollar house and you get a hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollar, hundred and fifty thousand dollars in cash, well, you know, most people think, well, everybody wants the cash, right? But if you're not a real estate investor or you're, you're, you know, you're not investing it like we are on a daily basis, they may, it may be a burden for them to take that cash because now they're going to have to take that money and they're going to have to invest it somewhere else to get a good rate of return. They're certainly probably not going to throw it into the stock market, right? I mean, we know that's, you know, I, nobody would argue that it's going nuts, but we don't know when it's going to go south, right? And so, you know, we can offer, uh, we can, we can make an offer structure an offer where we can buy with seller financing, it, like I said before, not everybody has a money problem. Some people have a real estate problem. 